Heavenly Father, I will say thank you for your mercy. Thank you for your grace. Thank you, Lord, for who you are. Father, be thy exalted. Father, we come before you this hour. We have come to seek for wisdom. We have come to seek for understanding. We have come to seek for empowerment. We have come to seek for direction. We have come to seek for guidance. Father, we come as your children. Father, is there any way we have sinned against you, Lord? Holy Spirit, we ask for mercy. Lord Jesus, we ask for your mercy. Father, cleanse us with your blood. 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 Your mercy alone we desire. Your mercy we desire. Your mercy we desire. Your mercy we desire. Your mercy we desire. For that cleanse us with your blood. Holy Spirit, we make a demand for your presence. We dedicate this tonight meeting into your hands. Holy Spirit, we invite you. Holy Spirit, we invite you. Holy Spirit, we invite you. Holy Spirit, teach us. Open our eyes of understanding. Open our eyes of understanding. Let your presence invade every home tonight. 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 The Bible says he sent forth his word and his word he let them from their destruction. Father, we decree and we prophesy as your word will be going forth tonight. Let every spirit of depression, every spirit of panic attack, every spirit of anxiety, every spirit of discouragement, every spirit of shame, every spirit that is not of God. Father, we make a demand tonight. Let them be deleted. Every spirit of frustration, every spirit of depression, let them be deleted. Every spirit of lust, let them be deleted. Every spirit of confusion, let them be deleted. Let them be deleted. Holy Spirit, let your power invade our lives tonight. Let your power invade our lives tonight. Let your power invade our lives tonight. Let your presence invade every soul tonight. Holy Spirit, baptize us afresh with fresh fire. 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 I come against every spirit of distraction. I come against every spirit of worry. I come against every spirit of distraction. I come against every spirit of worry. Father, visit us tonight. In the name of Jesus. Father, visit us tonight, Lord Jesus. Lord, visit us tonight. Lord, visit us tonight. Father, we invite you. Your word says in Psalm 50, Psalm 50 verse 15. You say, call upon me in the day of trouble, and I will answer thee, and thou shalt glorify me. The Bible says, for those that call upon the name of the Lord, they shall be saved. Father, we call upon you today. Father, we call upon you today. Thou son of David, thou son of David, thou son of David, appear tonight, appear tonight, appear tonight, appear tonight, invade every soul tonight, invade every home tonight, invade every heart tonight. We have come to seek for an empowerment. We have come to seek for a renewal of strength. We have come to seek for power. We have come to seek for strength. We have come to seek for insight. We have come to seek for direction. We have come to seek for guidance. Daddy, we have come to seek for your vengeance. But I let your name alone be exalted, O oh God. But that open our eyes of understanding. Open our eyes of understanding. Holy Spirit, we ask for your presence. Your presence, O oh God. Holy Spirit, we can do nothing without you. Holy Spirit, we ask for your presence. Your presence, O oh God. Your presence, O oh God. Your presence, Lord. 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 In Jesus' name we pray. Amen, amen, amen in Jesus' name. Once again, I want to say thank you to everyone. Thank you for joining us tonight. Um, I hope everyone had a wonderful day. Uh, and I'm believing God that God will be visit, visiting every one of us tonight in the mighty name of Jesus. Um, tonight, there's a charge Holy Spirit has put in my spirit since last Monday. And for some reason, I Holy Spirit didn't allow me to touch base 
on that charge. And that charge is what I tie to, it is time to go up. It is time to go up. So Sister Oye, please kindly do me a favor. And like I said, every night, please, I encourage everyone, you know, if you are not at work, you know, or, or on your job presently, I will advise and encourage you to please, as we call it Bible scripture, please open it, you know, because what really makes prayer effective is the connection of your spirit, the connection of your heart, your faith must be connected with your action, you know. So, Sister, you kindly open to the book of Revelation, chapter 4, verse 1, please. Revelations 4, verse 1, it says, After this I looked, and behold, a door was opened in heaven, and the first voice which I heard was, as it were, of a trumpet talking with me, which said, Come up hither, and I will shew thee things which must be here, which must be hereafter. Thank you. I've read this Bible verse multiple times. I've read it multiple times. Please, guys, let me know once you can hear me, please. Um, I've read it multiple times, but one thing that really struck me tonight was the part of this verse that says, it says, after this, I looked and behold, a door was open in heaven. A door was open in heaven. The same way you and I pray for open doors the bible says in the book of revelation 3 verse 8 it said i have set before you a door that no man can shut i have set before you and this man they needed to show him something but the first thing that happened the bible says and they looked and behold a door was open in heaven and the first voice which i heard was it were of a trumpet talking with me, which said, come up, Peter. The first prayer I want us to pray is, Lord, let the door of direction, let, brethren, you know, one thing every day as God is using me presently is a privilege, is not a right. Presently to lead this prayer meeting every night. One thing I always keep asking God every day, God, what do you want us to pray tonight? Lord, what do you want us to pray tonight? There are nights whereby I prepare some, you know, specific prayers. And a few minutes before we begin the program at night, Holy Spirit will change it. Because I want to make sure that we are at the center of God's will. We are doing according to his will. And one thing that keep, you know, one thing that keeps striking my mind every night, one thing I keep seeing is the Lord keep telling me, he said, my son, my heart, the intimacy, intimacy is very important to me. Your relationship with me is the most important thing. Other things are of a necessity. Other things are also important. But one thing I keep seeing is no matter what we're doing, if we lose direction, if we lose our place with God, we have lost everything. No matter the blessing that surrounds our lives, if we lose our place with God, it, once we lose that place of direction, that place of intimacy, that place of his will, we have lost everything. So I want you to see, because one thing, one question I want you to see is, how come they could not show him, they could not speak to him until that door was open? So meaning for me and you to ascend, for me and you to see some things that we need to see, for our life to shift, a door needs to be open. A door needs to be open. And I want us to pray that, Lord, 
every door that needs to open for me to see what you have called me to do. Let every door that needs to open for me to hear what you are saying. Lord, let this door open. The Bible says, like I said before, in the book of Revelation 3, 8, it said, I have set before you a door that no man can shut. That, oh Lord, let every door that needs to open for me to see, for me to hear what you are showing, what you are saying. Lord, let these doors open. Lord, let this door open. Prayer in the name of Jesus, my Lord and my God. Every doors that need to open for me to see, for me to see, for me to hear. I decree open. I decree open. I decree open. I decree open. I decree open in the name of Jesus. Every door that needs to open, every doors that need to open for me to hear. The summon of heaven for me to hear the voice of the master. I decree open. I decree open. I decree open. I decree open. I decree open in the name of Jesus. 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 Every door that needs to open for me to see, hear the voice of the Lord. Open right now. Open right now. Open right now, 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 open in the name of Jesus, open in the name of Jesus. Open in the name of Jesus. Open in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Another thing I want us to see for where we just read, because of those who just joined us, we just read the book of Revelation chapter 4, verse 1. If you read further in that verse, it says, And the first voice which I heard was its way of a trumpet talking with me, which said, come up, meaning this person was someone to ascend. Come up, and I will show thee the things which must be hereafter. Brethren, one thing, another thing that struck me tonight, ah, I said, Lord, how many someone have I missed last year? How many someone, how many times did they call me last year that I didn't yield? How many times was I called that they told me, open my Bible and I did not open because they wanted to show me something? How many times did they call my name? Brethren, the things of the spirit, a lot of times, the voice of the spirit, they come as whisper. They come as whisper. They come as a whisper. Sometimes you might not be able to hear the voice verbally. They come as a whisper. Sometimes they come as a prompting. You just have that, that burden will just be telling you, open the Bible. Open the Bible. Open the Bible. And look at what it's telling us. He said, and they said, come up, eater. Now we show thee. The first thing I want us to ask, God, have mercy. Have mercy upon me. Have mercy upon my disobedience. You have called me multiple times, but I have, I have disobeyed the summon of heaven. Lord, have mercy. Lord, show me mercy, O oh God. Lord, show me your mercy. Lord, your mercy I desire. I can't count how many times I have received the burden to pray. I can't count how many times I have received the burden to open the book because there was something ever needed to show me. Lord, show me mercy. Lord, show me mercy. Prayer in the name of Jesus. Prayer, my Lord and my God. Father, we come before you. Lord, have mercy. Have mercy upon our disobedience. Mercy, O oh God. 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 Mercy, Lord. Mercy, Lord. 
Mercy, Lord. Mercy, O God. Your mercy we desire. 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 Your mercy, Lord. 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 In Jesus' name we pray. Brethren, another prayer I want us to pray tonight is, Lord, empower me to begin to yield from tonight to the summon, to the calling of heaven. Lord, empower me to begin to yield when I'm being called. Because of people who just joined, we just read, please keep checking the chat for the Bible first. We just read the book of Revelation 4.1. He said, and they told him, come up, Ita, that I may, brethren, I'm begging you, I beg you, I beg you, in the name of the Lord of hosts, I beg you in the name of the Lord of hosts, please, one secret I want you to see here, there are many things you will never see about your future until you open the book, until you yield to the summon, until you yield. You see, we can do many things. And men will think we are successful. We can do many things that will make us look like we are doing very well. But I bet you, believe me, until you open the book, you can't truly see the true picture of your future. Until you open the scripture, it might be very hard to see the true picture of your future. The original picture of your future is hidden in this book. It's hidden in this book. This morning, I was at work and Holy Spirit was telling me to tell some of the ladies here and probably some of the men, who you see in the mirror is not your true identity. Who the enemy is telling you in the mirror is not your true identity. Your true identity is hidden in the scripture. The picture, the image of your true picture is hidden in the scripture. Your future is hidden in the scripture. Open the scripture that you can see the true picture of your future. Please, I'm giving this as an advice. Open the scripture daily because, you see, if you don't open the scripture, the enemy, the devil will mislead you. And it will look so correct. You will think it is God. You will think it is God. The devil knows what you are looking for. He knows you desire a good job. He knows you are looking for a right partner. He knows you are looking. The devil knows. And if you don't wait in his presence for him to lead you, the devil can bring a counterfeit. The devil can bring what looks right. That is why the Bible says there is a way that looks right. But the end is destruction. The Bible says, and the devil took our Lord Jesus to the mountain and he told him, bow before me and I will give you the word, the glory of this word. And Jesus said, it is written. And the devil says, okay, if you want to use the word, then I can use the word as well. And the devil began to quote the word. He said, he will give his angels charge over you. What I'm trying to tell you, friends, is if you don't spend quality time with the word, the devil can also use the Bible to mislead you. The devil can use what looks correct to mislead you. Please stay in the word. Stay in the word that you can see the true picture of your future. Stay in the word that you may see what heaven has written about you. I want us to pray from that same book, Revelation 4.1, that Lord, help me, help me to yield. Help me to begin to yield to the voice of the Spirit. Help me to begin to yield, oh God. Help me to yield 
prayer in the name of Jesus, my Lord and my God. Father, I come before you. Lord, help me to begin to yield. Help us to yield, oh God. Help us to yield, oh God. Help us to yield, oh God. Help us to yield, oh God, to the leading of the Spirit, to the leading of the Spirit, to the voice of the Spirit, to the voice of the Holy Spirit. Help us to yield. 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 Help us to yield to the voice of the Spirit. To the voice of the Spirit. To the voice of the Spirit. Father, help us to yield. Help us, O oh God. Help us, O oh God. Help us, O oh God. Help us, Lord. Help us, Lord, to yield. To yield. To yield. To yield. To yield. To yield. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. You see, one of the reasons why I take this prayer of yielding very serious is because many things wants to possess you. Many things wants to control you. Last night, when we finished the prayer last night, I just heard the voice of the Holy Spirit telling me, he said, my son, he said, tell my people, make sure this year, let only me possess you. There are many things that want to possess your spirit. Many things wants to control your spirit. That is why the spirit of God is a jealous God. Is a jealous God. Please, I'm begging. If you are going to be very honest, do an x-ray. Do an evaluation of your heart. The things that are contending for your attention. The things of this world are contending. Fornication is contending. Lust is calling your name every day. The club is calling your name. White party is calling your name. There are many things that disobedient voices that want you to disobey your parents, that want you to disobey God. There, there are many things that want to possess to con because by nature, we are supposed to be to be to be to, to submit under a spirit. So if, if you are not submitting under the leading of the Holy Spirit, another spirit automatically takes your control. Please pay attention to what I'm saying. The reason why I'm telling you this is so that you can really pay attention to your spirit, pay attention to your heart. That's why when I go to the presence of God, one of the major prayer, like I said last night, Lord, don't let me disappoint you. Lord, help me to yield. You'll be so surprised how money, the love for money, the devil will keep telling you, look at you, look at your colleagues. They are doing very well. Look at your life. Look at where you are. The devil wants you and I to take a shortcut because the devil will keep telling you, you are a failure. Why are you waiting on God? Why are you trying to believe in that righteousness, that thing they call holiness? That thing they call virginity. Why do you believe in those things? Brethren, I come to bring the voice of the Lord to you today. Don't give up tomorrow for today. Don't give up the glory of tomorrow for today. Don't give up. Let God only possess you. Become a pet in his hand. Let him become your possessor. Let him only possess you. That, oh God, help me to yield. Help me to yield. Many things are calling your name. Lord, this year, help me to yield. Help me to yield to your leading. Help me to yield when you call. Help me to yield, oh God. Prayer in the name of Jesus. My Lord and my God. Lord, help me to yield. Help us to yield, oh God. Help us to yield, oh God. Help us to yield. Help us to yield. Help us to yield. Help us to yield. Help us to yield to your leading, to your leading, to your leading, to your leading. Help us to yield, Lord. Help us to yield, Lord. Help us to yield, Lord. Help us to yield. 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 
In Jesus' name we pray. Sister Oyin, can you quickly open to the book of Deuteronomy 32, verse 49, please? Our topic tonight, we are giving a charge on it's time to go up, meaning it's time for you and I. This is February. We need to step up. We need to increase. We need to move to the next level. Keep, you have to, we have to keep pushing. Don't give up. You know, one more, one more try. We need to, you know, you know, when you go to the gym, if you have a trainer, you tell, give me one more rep, one more rep. It's time to move higher. You know, I want, I want you to begin to see what happened when men mount up. What happened when, when people decide to ascend. So, Sister Onye, over to you. Deuteronomy 32, verse 49, please. Deuteronomy 32, 49 says, Get thee up into this mountain, Ab Abram, unto, unto Mount Nebo, which is in the land of Moab, that is over against Jericho. And behold, the land of Canaan, which I give unto the children of Israel for, possess for possession. Thank you. He said, get thee up into this mountain, Abarim, unto Mount Nebo, which is in the land of Moab, that is over against Jericho. And behold, ayah, brethren, God was telling Moses, for Moses to see Canaan, look at the mountain, this man, yeah. brethren, what you are looking for is not in the valley. What you are looking for is not, if you are looking for a unique success, if you are looking to stand out, what you are looking for is in the mountain. What you are looking for, you need to do what is not usual. You need to do what is not common. You need to step away from your place of comfort. I'm going to read that again. Our sister just read the book of Deuteronomy 32, verse 49. He said, get thee up. Brethren, you have to be intentional to mount up. You have to be intentional to ascend. He said, get thee up into this mountain, Abarim, one. Unto the Mount Nebo, two. Which is in the land of Moab. That is the location. That is over. That is over against Jericho. And behold, the land of Canaan, which I will give unto the children of Israel. What I want to give thee, Azike Koba, what I have given you, what I have written concerning your name, it's somewhere, but you need to go up. You need to mount up to see Azia. You, oh, I want us to pray that, oh God, Lord, empower me to mount up. Lord, empower me to ascend, that I may see what you are showing, that I, may, I have wasted too much time in the valley. Oh God, I have wasted too much time in the valley. I have been waiting for too long. Lord, empower me to ascend. I may see what you have been saying. That I may see. Lord, empower me to ascend. Empower me to go up, oh God. Pray in the name of Jesus. We are Lord, oh my God. Lord, empower me. Lord, empower me. That I may ascend. That I may see. Lord, empower me that I may mount up. Lord, empower me, O oh God. Empower me tonight. Empower me tonight. Empower me, O oh God. Empower me, O oh God. Empower me, O oh God. In my career, empower me. Spiritually, empower me. In my prayer life, empower me. In my professional life. Bless, oh God, empower me. Lord, empower me to mount up. In my school, empower me. As a father, empower me. That I may see. That I may see. A siko a batuate. The reteko a shia. The esikeko. The rendo o shia pa. The reteke valiatena. Lord, empower me. That I may see. 
that I may see, that I may see, empower me to go up, 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 empower me to go up. In Jesus' name we pray. Brethren, I want us to take this prayer very serious. Because this prayer cuts across every aspect of our lives. There are many people, you know that for you to get that quality job, there are some serious studies you need to study. There are some professional skills you need to add to your present skills right now. Some people, they struggle to study. Some people struggle to pray. Some people struggle to focus. That is part of the mountain. Because for you to ascend, to move to a shift, for you to see a shift of breakthrough, to move to the next level of breakthrough, a spirit, you need something to empower you to go up. Why do you think they bring motivational speakers to speak to athletes, professional athletes like NFA? It's to ginger, to inspire them to inspire, to motivate them so that they can mount up, so that the egos in them can fly. That, oh God, empower me, oh God, to mount up. Help me to make the right decision. The decision I have been struggling with for years. Lord, empower me to mount up. Empower me to begin to live a life of discipline. Lord, empower me to mount up. Prayer in the name of Jesus. My Lord and my God. Father, we come before you. Empower me to mount up, O oh God. 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 Empower, 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 empower. This month, this month, this season, empower, 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 empower me, Lord, to mount up, 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 to mount up. This season, in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Sister Owen, thank you very much. You're doing very well. I want you to quickly go to the book of Matthew. Hmm. No. The book of Luke chapter 9. Yes. The book of Luke chapter 9 from verse 28. To read 28 to 30. Then I'm going to we're going to pray from there. Luke 9, 28 to 30, it says, And it came to pass about an eight days after these sayings, he took Peter and John and James and went up into a mountain to pray. And as he, and as he prayed, the fashion of his countenance was altered, and his raiment was white and glistering. Verse 30. And behold, there talked with him two men, which were Moses and Elias, who appeared in glory, and spake of his decease, which he should, which he should accomplish at Jerusalem. You said twenty-eight to to thirty, but it's okay. Oh, sorry. <laughs> yeah, it's okay. You know, it says from verse twenty-eight. It says, and it came to pass about eight days after these sayings, he took Peter, John, and James, and they did what? they went up into the mountain to pray. Brethren, something happens to people when they go up. Something happens to people when they pray. Something happens, something shifts when people go up. Brethren, this is 2023. I'm going to keep echoing that in your ear every day. This is not 2022 anymore, meaning it is time to change your strategy. It is time to become strategic. It is time to do the unusual. It is time to do it different. It is time to read more. It is time to disconnect from wrong association. It is time to mount up. It is time not to pity yourself anymore. 
refuse to embrace a life of pity party. It is time to become a strong woman and a strong man that I have to go up. I must go up. I must mount up. But see what happens. He says, he says, he took Peter, James, and John. John and James, they went up to the mountain. Verse 29, as he prayed, the fashion of the countenance was altered and his raiment was white and glistering. At that place of the mountain, his true identity came alive. His true, the true originality of Jesus evolved. Brethren, our true, like I said before to the ladies, I don't know the whisper, what the enemy is whispering into your ear every time you see yourself in the back. Because the picture Holy Spirit gave me this morning is like some of you, when you finish taking your shower, you stand in the bathroom and you know, and the devil is ministering evil messages into your heart. Even though you go to church to study the Bible, but the devil has painted a wrong image. Brethren, it is time. The Bible said, no weapon, form, or fashion against you shall prosper. He said, every tongue that rises up against you, thou shalt condemn them. Don't ever, don't ever accommodate, tolerate the voices of negativity. Condemn them. Judge them. Judge them. I am not small. I am not this. This is what God says I am. No, I'm being honest with you. Never allow negative words to settle in your heart. If you don't counter it with the word of the Lord, before you know it, it begins to control your mind. It begins to control your emotions. It begins to give you direction. That, oh God, as he prayed, his containers. I want us to pray tonight. That, Lord, empower me with the spirit of prayer. That is the grace to mount up with wings as eagles. The grace to pray like never before. Let that grace be released upon me. The grace to pray, the grace so that my true, my true identity can emerge. The grace to pray. Oh my God, think about this. Why would God, have you forgotten what the Bible says? In the book of John chapter one, the Bible says in the beginning was the word. This is the word. Jesus was the main word that was with God in the before. Do you hear what he told them, the Pharisees? He said, before Abraham, I was. Before Abraham was, I was. He said, I was in the wilderness that gave you manna. <laughs> Me, I supplied manna. This was God, God in the flesh. But the same God, because he came in the flesh for men, for him to see his true identity, for his true identity to come alive, he had to pray. He had, he, how tall was that mountain? How tall was the mountain? Jesus went to the mountain. He went to the mountain. Brethren, if Jesus can go to the mountain, you and I have no excuse. You have no choice because Jesus is the pattern man. is the pattern, the image of God. That, oh God, empower me. Empower me to pray this year. Empower me to pray this year. Prayer in the name of Jesus. My Lord and my God, empower me, oh God, to pray this year. Lord, empower me. 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 Empower me, Lord, to pray, oh God. To pray, oh God. To pray, oh God. To pray, oh God. Let the spirit of prayer be released upon us. Be released upon us. Be released upon us. The spirit of prayer. Barande Esia, Dante Kobali Atena, the Rendo Asike, Barete Kebali Ate, Shake Kobali Ateria, Seke Abali Etona, Barete Kebali Atena, Sako Abala, Seketi Asia, Sake Kobala, Sako Abateko, Barate Kebalia, Seke Kobate, Sake Luatina, Sato Abate, a Yeke Kobali Ateria. Merende Koba, Sato, Eto Abatua, Marande Etoko, Daddy, let the grace to pray, the grace to pray, 
the grace to pray, the grace to pray, empower me, empower my children to pray, to pray, to pray as they grow. Let the spirit of prayer rest upon my wife, rest upon my children. The spirit of prayer, the spirit of Elijah, the spirit of Elijah, the spirit of Mekahiah, the spirit of Elijah, the spirit of Elisha. The Bible says Elijah was a man like you, but he prayed that there would be no rain. In Jesus' name we pray. Brethren, I want us to pray that, oh God, I refuse to be small. Brethren, believe me, I'm not trying to, God, 2009, I pray to a point. God showed me many things about my future. Please pray. I'm begging you. See, for those who are very close to me, I don't claim Superman. There were many times I almost gave up on God. But what God has shown me about my future was what kept me going. The voice of God. Please pray. <laughs> Believe me, pray, pray. Before I got into relationship with my wife, I went into three days of no food, fasting. Lord, don't let me miss it. Don't let me make a wrong decision. Twice, twice, twice. Brethren, I want us to pray. That Lord, let my true identity emerge. Let my true identity emerge. If you look at that verse, verse 29, it says, his countenance, the, as he prayed, the fashion of his countenance was altered, meaning his countenance was reconfigured and his raiment was white. As, and if you observe everyone, including Daniel, that met with Jesus in his glory, he was glittering. Everybody that met with him in Revelation, they met a glittering image. His true identity came alive. That, oh God. And look at, let's read further. Verse 30. He says, and behold, there talked with him two men, which were Moses and Elijah. Moses and Elijah. Brethren, I am so upset tonight that, oh God, as I pray tonight, Lord, this is me, oh God. As, 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 as. Would God, Jesus, who was God incarnate himself, he had to wait. Heaven, the Father, the Father had to send men who have died to bring a download. They brought, they brought a download for him. What will happen in Jerusalem? That, oh God, Lord, reveal to me, oh God, what will happen this year? That, oh God, reveal to me what will happen. Let my true image be revealed. Let my true image be revealed. Let my true image come alive. I have been a weak Christian too long. I have been a powerless Christian too long. Lord, let my true image come alive. Reveal to me, oh God, your plan for this season. Your plan for this year. Lord, reveal to me. Don't let me miss it. Lord, ah, this man, he knew what he came for. Jesus knew why he came to die. Why would he wait for direction? Why would he go and pray to receive a blueprint? <laughs> Brethren, this thing is burning in my spirit because I want you to see the importance of waiting on God. I want you to see the importance of prayer. I want you to see that even Jesus had to depend on the Father. 
that God, let my true identity emerge. Let my true identity emerge. Lord, show me, oh God, show me your plan this year that I may make wise decision. Prayer in the name of Jesus, my Lord and my God, let my true identity emerge. Let my true image emerge. Let my true identity 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 emerge. Show me your plan this year. 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 Lord, let my true identity emerge. Let my true identity emerge. Lord, show me your plan, oh God. 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 You said, call upon me, and you will answer me. You said, call upon me, and you will show me great and mighty things. Lord, show me your plan, oh God. In your mercy, oh God. In your mercy, oh God. Show me your plan. Let my true identity emerge. 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 In Jesus' name we pray. If you read further, verse 31, he says, who appeared in glory and spake of his disease, how he will die, which he should accomplish at Jerusalem. Look at what Peter began to say. Peter, but Peter, please, I know you probably have read this, but I want to show you something deep. The Holy Spirit just show me now, 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 now. He said, but Peter, don't forget, while all of this was going on, Peter, John, and James were asleep. They were asleep because at that point, where is true image, they, they cannot, no man can withstand that image. That image put them to sleep. Guess what? Because they were with him. Look at what happened. Verse 31. He said, Wood appeared in glory and spake of the disease. Verse 32 says, But Peter and they that were with him were heavy. Heavy. How can you? you they didn't sleep on the valley. They slept on the mountain. Heavy. Sleeping heavily. And when they were awake, they saw his glory. And the two men that stood with him, they saw, but they could not understand the communication. They saw, but they could not, just like people in the church, they can feel the presence of God, but they cannot discern what the Lord is doing. They cannot discern, God, what are you saying to me? There are many times that the presence of God invade a service, and even the people who can feel it, they cannot discern. God, what are you saying? What did you bring to me? What are you saying to me? What is your message to me? And look at what happens. Verse 33. It says, and it came to pass, as they departed from him, Peter said unto Jesus, Master, it is good for us to be here. And let us make three tabernacles, one for thee, one for Moses, one for Elijah, not knowing what he said. Do you know why? Brethren, the place of glory, the place, that mountain, the place of glory, that mountain, please don't get me wrong. I'm not talking about physical mountain. I'm talking of a place where you ascend. A place where you mount up. That mountain can be your bedroom. It can be your altar. That mountain can also be that you need to increase your level of knowledge. Mountain is not just in prayer. Mountain up is not just in prayer. It can also be that you need to talk less and listen more. That you need to observe more. That you need to guide. You need to seek for more guidance more. Brethren. That mountain is a place. 
based on what Peter saw, he knew that what happens here is very, very unique and unusual. Meaning, it, that place is a place no man will, will ever desire to leave. What am I trying to tell you? Me and you, you and I must desire to ascend. What happened here was the same thing that happened to Moses. How could a mortal man be in the presence of God for 40 days? No food, no water. How do you do that? Think about it. How do you do that for 40 days? No food. Why? The presence of God. You see, when that presence swallows you up, you don't think about time anymore. It swallows, it swallows everything, including your mortal body. It swallows everything up. It swallows your appetite. It swallows your problem. That, oh God, let your presence invade my life, oh God. Lord, let your presence invade my life, oh God. I need more of your presence this year. Lord, let your presence invade. Let your presence invade. Invade my soul. Invade my life. Prayer in the name of Jesus. My Lord and my God, Lord, let your presence invade. Your presence, oh God. Your presence, oh God. Let your presence invade my life. 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 Let your presence, oh God. Your presence, Lord. 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 In the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. This time, can you please quickly read the book of First Kings, chapter 18, from verse 41 to 44, please. First Kings. First Kings 18, 41 to 44, correct? Correct. Okay, it says... Sorry. And Elijah said unto Ahab, get thee up, get thee up, eat and drink, for there is a sound of abundance of rain. So Ahab went up to eat and to drink, and Elijah went up to the top of Mount Carmel, and he cast himself down upon the earth, and he's put his face between his knees, 43, and said to his servant, go up now, look toward the sea. And he went up and looked and said, there is nothing. And he said, Go again seven times, 44. And it came to pass at the seventh time that he said, Behold, there ariseth a little cloud out of the sea like a man's hand. And he said, Go up, say unto Ahab, Prepare thy chariot and get thee down, and that the rain stop thee not. Hmm. Thank you very much. I want you to see what happens when people, when you mount up, Elijah was known to be a prophet who ascend, who stays on the mountain. Look at, I want you to see a statement that is very unique. He says, verse 41, he says, and Elijah said to Ahab, get thee up and eat and drink, for there is a sound of the abundance of rain. Only him could hear it. Only this man could hear the sound of abundance of rain. But I want you to see the importance of praying, the importance of being deep with God, the importance of going. You see, when you go deep, there are many things you see quick. There are many things that are revealed that many people cannot comprehend. Watch out. Verse 42. So Ahab went up to eat and drink, and Elijah went up to the top of what? Top of the camel on the mountain, and he cast himself down upon the earth, put his face between his knees. He, this man has had something, but for it to manifest, he had to pray it down. What has God revealed to you? What has God told you about you? How come you have not been praying it down? You have not been praying about it. You have been waiting, but you are not praying. You have been waiting, but you are not praying. 
Look at what happened as we round up. Verse 43. And he said to the servant, go up now, look toward the sea. And he went up and looked and said, there is nothing. And he said, go again seven times. Brethren, I bring the word of the Lord to you today. The Bible says, though your beginning might be small, your later end will surely increase. He said, go a righteous man for seven times, but he shall rise again. Elijah told him, go again. I bring the word of the Lord to you. Please, I don't know what you did before and you failed. Try again, try again, try again, try again, try again, try again, and see the Lord ascend you and see the Lord take you higher. Brethren, after seven times, what Elijah has seen, he came as a, let me quickly show you as we pray. He said, verse 44, because it came to pass at the seventh time that he said, behold, there ariseth a little cloud out of the sea like a man's hand. This is the instruction this page just told me now. Please, I beg you, pay attention to the signs. The Holy Spirit will be bringing you signs. This was a sign. A sign like a man's hand, but it was an abundance of rain. A sign. And please don't forget what I'm telling you. Pay attention to your dreams and signs. 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 I want us to lay a hand on our chest. I want us to round up. 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 Thank you, Kenny. Put your hand on your chest and lay your hand. That, oh God, let there be an abundance of your presence. Let your hand rest upon me, oh God. Don't let me miss your sign this year. Lord, give me you as a gift this year. Give her a seattle. Lord, give me you, you, because in you everything is. Lord, give me you as a gift. Give me you as a gift. Touch this out of mine. This out of mine. Form a surgery in there. Give me you as a gift. Give me you, you alone I desire. Prayer in the name of Jesus, my Lord and my God. Give me you as a gift, O oh God. Give me you as a gift, O oh God. Give me you as a gift, O oh God. Give me you as a gift, O oh God. Give me you as a gift, O oh God. Give me you as a gift. Daddy, perform a surgery. Let every spirit of depression be deleted. I arrest every spirit of depression. I delete every spirit of failure. I delete every spirit of loss. I delete every spirit of memory loss. Let everything the enemy has stolen, let your memories be restored in the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. I decree, let all the enemy has stolen. Let it be restored. Be restored. Be restored. Be restored. Let your vision be restored. Let direction be restored. I decree fresh fire, fresh grace, fresh strength. Father, let your name alone be exalted. Father, as we go to bed tonight, Father, visit us. Encounter us tonight. Visit us, Lord Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen in Jesus' name. Brethren, please, I want to say it. I'm so sorry once again. In case you don't have a local church where you worship, our church, you are welcome to our church. Our church is in... Morris Avenue, 1359, 1359 Morris Avenue Union. Our services start at 1015 at Sunday School. You are welcome to join us. Guys, I can't thank every one of you enough. Please don't stop praying. This month, I said something this week. This is a new month. Today is the second. Plan, strategize. Go back to the gym. Heat healthy. You can see me drinking water and lemon. This is water and lemon. Heat healthy. Heat very healthy. Drink a lot of water. Study. Find time. Study. Evaluate the mistakes you made in last month. Don't, don't be everywhere. Plan your time. Your time is your life. You waste your time. You waste your life. Please, the road to success is under construction. Remain under construction. 
the road that leads to success, they always remain under construction. Keep building yourself. Remain under construction. Keep working on yourself. Thank you very much. I'll see you in case you join up for the first time. Leave your number so we can add you to the platform. Thank you very much. I'll see you on Monday night. Have a wonderful weekend. God bless you. Bye-bye. God bless you, brother. Thank you, brother Taro. Have a wonderful weekend. You're welcome. Thank you. Thank you.